So if we don't come here to work on a rainy Wednesday morning, wait till we gain. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Showbiz now here on Joy Prime. And in the next 10 minutes, I get to bring you the latest updates in the world of entertainment here on the show. All you have to do is to just sit down tight and enjoy the best of it. Welcome to the show. I'm disappointed in Bullet, says uh, uh, the man, Morris, the Ampa, the lawyer. He says he thinks that he made Ebony. Outspoken law practitioner, lawyer Morris Ampa, has joined the Starboy Quartin versus Bullet Bruaha, revealing that he is disappointed in the artist manager. He argued that Bullet has, from all indications, recovered from Ebony's loss, whilst the father of Ebony, from all indications, hasn't recovered from his daughter's loss. Now, Ebony was so dear to his father and a mineral to Mr. Opoku Kwating, who had to lose his queen to an accident. Now, Ebony, on the other hand, though not blood related, uh, was the best artist Bullet has ever managed from her brand to her style and stagecraft. In an interview, the lawyer expressed his disappointment in Bullet as he addressed the issue that has been the talk of GH. And he says, I'm disappointed in Bullet. Emotionally, from all indications, Bullet has recovered from what happened to Ebony. But emotionally, Ebony's father hasn't recovered. I have had countless conversations with the man and you can see he hasn't recovered from his daughter's loss and is still mourning the daughter, he said. Age is also cashing in on the man and he is getting older between Bullet and Ebony's dad. Ebony's dad likes Ebony the most since she was everything to the man. Bullet is just a stranger and a manager, he added. So yes, that's another one coming through. Let's see how this one also goes in the coming weeks. Away from that, I deliberately create controversies Rosemont Brown, Okia Pimpolo is talking. Ghanaian actress and video vixen Rosemont Brown has revealed that she deliberately creates a controversy around herself to get the attention she wants and getting it now. In an interview with Foster Romanos, Rosemont Brown said she sought the assistance of a blogger who guided her to what she should do to get all the attention. And she says, I spoke to a blogger called those called celebrities and asked her to write negative articles about me and she also gave me directions as to what I should do. So I started with half naked pictures. I posted one with a young guy and I was in a swim where that one really went viral and people were talking now the second one was the one i did with the kitchen stew the school teacher kitchen challenge that also went viral after that one i went with fella mccaffrey and a few other beef and every other beef that, that comes up i mean yo for real why i'm thinking of what to do next to also go viral anyway <laughs> away from that let's talk about some foreign news that's your money. I wouldn't go viral with that. You know that. I want, I want to get naked or something. Nicki Minaj criticized after comparing herself to Harriet Tubman. And that's on the international front. And Nicki Minaj was actually criticized Monday after she compared herself to Harriet Tubman ahead of her appearance at the Video Music Awards. Minaj first packed a controversy after she mentioned the historic abolitionist in a tweet. Now, the rapper has been on a Twitter rampage since accusing Spotify of not properly promoting her album, Queen, uh, because it was released on Apple Music's Beats 1 station, Queen Radio, 10 minutes early. Now, all the queens I remember shooks up, Queen of the Week may go to Harriet Tubman. Had she just sat there and earned her rice, you and and history would have been a lot less. Trump triumphant and Nicki Minaj tweeted just before 3 uh, p.m. And she also doubled down on her stance when TMZ caught her leaving her hotel Monday night. And she actually, when was asked about the whole situation, she, she told her, Minaj says, I am the new Harriet Tubman. And this is what it is. All right, Nicki. We, we came to you, Nicki. We came to you, Nicki. So Twitter's going wild, Nikki. Killing the game, Nikki. With the Harriet Tubman comparison. What do you have to say to that? I am the new Harriet Tubman. <laughs> do you think it's a bit too far with the slave no, comparison no, to the I'm streaming Harriet service? Tubman, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you, okay looking, are you okay oh, with no, number Yeah, that, that's Nicki Minaj. Now, many fans slammed the rapper for comparing herself to Tubman, uh, who helped free slaves through the underground railroad before the Civil War. And we are. Uh, if you saw the VMA's performance of uh, J Lo, trust me, that was amazing. The, the, the VMA's was, was amazing the uh, last two days. And well.
Away from that, Drake surprises 11-year-old girl awaiting a heart transplant and Drake visited a hospital in Chicago, Illinois on Monday to see a young girl who posted a video of herself doing the In My Feelings challenge while awaiting a heart transplant. Now, Sophia Sanchez and 11-year-old patient at the Ann and Robert H. Lurie Children's Hospital of Chicago was seen dancing in a video posted by the hospital last Wednesday to the famous rapper's song, now which has also become host to a viral dance craze in recent months. Now, Sanchez danced alongside her cousin in a hospital hallway while he fed to her IV pump. In then another video, the young girl asked Drake to also visit her over the weekend as he was performing in Chicago. Here it is. <laughs> Drake in a surprise visit granted one of two of Sanchez's birthday wishes, the other being to receive a new heart. Now, it says uh, me and my love, Sophia, talking about Bieber and owls and basketball. Drake captioned a photo of the two on Instagram. It also appears Drake gifted Sanchez a hat with the word Scorpion, the title of his fifth studio album. So that's quite interesting. Now, box office, we're talking about top 10 actors who nailed their biographical roles. The number 10 position, we have Helen Mirren as Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II in The Queen. Very sad news to bring you. Diana, Princess of Wales, has died after a car crash in Paris. The Prime Minister, Tony Blair, is about to make a statement. Princess Diana touched the lives of so many others. She was the people's princess. <laughs> At number nine position, Ashton Kesha as Steve Jobs in Jobs. It comes at the expense of experience. Boss! What are you working on? It's a computer terminal that hooks up to the TV from the display. Uh, Steve? Wow. These are state of the art. Nobody's making. At number eight position, Denzel Washington starred in the movie Malcolm X, and this is what it is. You don't even know who you are. Who are you? Say, Roseland. Roseland. At number seven position, Bruno Ganz as Adolf Hitler in Downfall. Have Ben Kingsley as Mohandas Karamachand Gandhi in Gandhi. Their times, <laughs> one man changed the world for all time. My name is Gandhi, Mohandas K. Gandhi. Well, whoever you are, we don't want you here. I suggest you get back on that train before it leaves. They seem to want me. Columbia Pictures presents a Richard Attenborough film, Gandhi. Okay, so folks, we'll be counting down till 12. At 12, when I come back, we'll still have some more things to talk about here on the show. Now, Marco is going to be joining me, and he's a manager of Striker. You know about that controversy coming up at 12 o'clock at 11. IB is going to be on. Make sure you tune in and get the best of entertainment here on Showbiz Now. My name is KMJ, the Royal Host. It's always a pleasure to come your way, especially a wet Wednesday morning.